Hey Larry Vision, how you doing? For the new people, welcome. Uh, for the old people, welcome back. Um, today we're at Baker's Park and I have uh, a couple friends and my wife and we're gonna do some uh, jump training. So what I've got is I've got the, both of my MTB hopper ramps out. I've got this first one set up to where it is not as steep. The other is more of a kicker as you can see. We have the board set up six foot away right now. These are landing boards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna take a few different runs. We're gonna go for three runs. One's gonna be fast, one's gonna be slow, and one's gonna be in the middle. Uh, it's to show that no matter how fast you're going, you, 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 you can learn to land exactly where you need to. So that's what we're working first. Then we're gonna bring the ramps to where uh, they have a gap and we're gonna work that. And then we're gonna come over here to this hill and we're gonna jump, step down into the hill. So hope that everybody enjoys and uh, I'll do quite a bit more talking as we get into it, um, explaining stuff and, and how, we're, how, how we're gonna jump and all of that. Um, I'll talk to you guys here in just a little bit. Hey guys, so here's, here's what we're gonna do today. Um, Amy's running the camera, the other two are behind. The other two kind of know what to do on jumping. This is for you and for Amy. So as you're coming into the jump, you're gonna stand up tall, okay? When you're right about here, you're gonna begin to preload your bike. You're gonna go down, okay? When you're up on here, right here, you're gonna come from your low position, you're gonna pull up and allow the bike to come into you, okay? Then you're gonna jump. As you feel that come off, you're gonna jump. Then you're gonna try and land it. So in order to land, when you're ready to land, just shoot, shoot your bike down. So the first few times, what I want you to do is just go off, see how it feels, and then we'll go from there, okay? All right, sounds good. Nice. All right, so the last one was her going at just a regular speed, um, what she thought it was gonna take, and she made it. So I told her this time I wanted her to slow down and I wanted her to give more of a pop. So she's uh, getting ready now, and then we'll see, we'll see if she, she can still make it going a little slower. All right, here she comes. And I told her to give me much more pop this time. That one looked like the right speed, but you needed a little, your pop was not, not quite there on that one. Let me tell you why. Come here. So what I saw, what I saw was here, mm -hmm. you started to pull up like you're supposed to, but your back wheel left here when it needs to leave up here. So her back wheel started popping off the ground here when you need to wait for that. So it's a timing thing. She actually popped pretty high, but she only landed about right in there, and that's why. Much better. So she's already got it where she can go a regular speed and clear it exactly, and a slower speed with the pop, and that made good sense to her. So now she's gonna try to go a faster, a, a much faster pace with less pop and see if she can still land in the same spot. Nice. We good? All right, guys. So, just gonna give you the basic ideas of how you jump. The first things that you wanna do is pedaling. You wanna get all your pedaling done back here. You don't wanna be pedaling from here on. So you wanna be done pedaling from this point right here on and into your set position. You wanna stand tall to start. So stay up tall. Stay tall, squat in, right here. You're gonna hold your squat. As soon as you start to feel this lift, you're gonna bring that up into you. And as soon as you feel your back wheel leave, you pull up, push down, and go for the landing. 
Now what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to actually land like this. Let's, let's pretend this is that hill over there. This is the top of the hill. So you want to land here or down. That's what you're trying to do. Because you, you want the, as, much of the, as much of the transition as you can when you, do a, when you do a jump. So landing further down, like what I did the last jump that I did, I almost cleared the entire jump. By that time, I went sideways and messed up. So it also is according to how fast you're going is to how much pop. So the slower you go, the more drive and pull you have to do. The faster you're going, the less you want to do. So a real fast one, you might actually just lift up just to just to absorb some of the some of that uh, some of that energy. But that'll get you that way you can do three different speeds and land in the same spot. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. A little more speed. That was a good. That was a good pop. That was a good pop, but you need a little more speed to make it. Nice. Yes, that was slow. That speed feels good to me. Like good. Medium speed. Yeah. <laughs> Medium's really what you want, but if you find yourself going slower or or fast, you need to know what to do. If that makes sense. There you go. That was nice. That was perfect distance. You, you started letting off at the right time and you slowed down enough for it to be perfect. Oh, there you go, nice. Scott. Nice, Scott. Perfect. Thanks, Tony. So, babe, you just need a little more speed to clear that one. I slowed down. I stopped pedaling too soon. I mean, you you were close yeah. on that one even. Well, the grass takes a lot of your speed. Yeah, it does. Yeah, being on the grass or, or on trail is a different different animal. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Nice. So we've brought the marker way out. We're getting a lot more speed now. Nice. Everybody's clearing it by a good shot. And this is after minimal practice, guys. Nice. Woo! You cleared it going slow. Nice. Nice. Nice, babe. You made it that time. Perfect. Nice. Nice, Tony. If the bike is already up on the ground, you Beautiful.
All right, so now we're gonna slow way down and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and make it a gap. I'm gonna bring it close so nobody's worried. That way you know you can clear it. If you need to clear it, you can just clear the whole thing. No problem, right? Uh, I'm also gonna put the, uh, the case pad on just in case. Beautiful. That's enough speed, Scott. Nice, Scott. Nice, that was you went way up high and then brought your nose down perfect. That's what I was trying to do. I don't yep. that, that's what this is for, is to learn that. Yeah, I need to work. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. That was it, Scott. Yep. You came down perfect and everything. Nice, babe. Nice, Scott. Now you got it perfect. Yeah, Tony. <laughs> that time, that time you 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 pumped too early. Yeah, totally. I knew it as I was doing it. <laughs> Good job, Tony. Good job, babe. Heck yeah, babe. Nice. A little faster, baby. That looks beautiful. Just go a little faster and you're perfect. Nice. There you go. Looking good, Scott. Yeah. 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 Yeah, babe.
Yeah. Taking the train style. All right, guys. Uh, Larry Vision, we had a great jump practice. Try to get everybody in. Where is everybody? There we go. There's the guys. Here I am. Um, we had a great jump practice. We spent about an hour and a half. Uh, we went from being uncomfortable on the jumps to everybody feeling comfortable jumping down eight to 10 foot in, into a huge drop. So these, these ramps definitely work. They definitely help. What do you guys think? It's fun. Good Good one. Absolutely. They, Thank fit, you. they can go in the back of my truck if you want. I'll, I'll make sure they can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you. See you next time. Have fun. Like. Hey. Keep adventure in your life. Subscribe, like, comment. I want to hear from you.